Hi everybody and welcome back to the Madison Seattle channel. Today we are going to can up Sloppy Joe mix or Sloppy Joe meat. I have 10 pounds of ground pork almost done browning. I'm going to drain off all the grease and then we're going to start adding some good stuff. Now I have added three oh small to medium onions that I minced up in my food processor. Now I've added six stalks of celery that I also finely minced in my food processor. So now I've added about two cups of ketchup and about oh a half a cup of mustard. Now this recipe is all to taste. Um, this is just the things that I like to put in my sloppy joes when I make it homemade and not use that stuff from a can. I've also added a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce and about a cup and a half of water. Now I've added pepper, about two teaspoons of pepper and I added a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can add anything you want to your sloppy joes that you like. Um, you can put in paprika if you like it redder. Uh, garlic powder, garlic salt, salt. The ketchup and mustard made this salty enough for me so I don't think it needed it. Uh, so I'm going to call this good. I'm going to give it one more taste. I might add just a dash more Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure. Sometimes you can play with something too much. It already tastes really good. So here are my jars of Sloppy Joe mix. They're still boiling. They look absolutely beautiful. I got nine pints and three half pints out of ten pounds of ground pork and everything I added to the ground pork. So that turned out pretty good. So my goal in filling all my empty canning jars I am now at 61 filled. No, 62 filled. And there's lots to be canned in the winter time, so we're not stopping now. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.